Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Uh, my friend Joe from Quebec, Canada writes in and says, got my Sacarbolin samples last week. Very generous of you. Now, if you don't know, um, they call me the Supplement Santa because I love sending out samples. I think you should always be able to test drive a product before you purchase it. So anyway, uh, Joe had asked me for some samples and I sent him out a very generous amount uh, to be able to give it a good test drive. So he was just saying, hey, thank you, I got your samples. Joe then says, what is the difference between carbolin and sugar? Not what I feel, but what's going on inside? Very good question, Joe. First of all, um, carbolin is a complex carbohydrate. Sugar is a simple carbohydrate. Typically, sugars are in the system very, very quickly, within about five minutes. Um, they raise your glycemic index uh, very rapidly, and then they drop off, so you get those sugar-type crashes. Complex carbohydrates um, are absorbed a little bit slower. They raise that GI index uh, slightly, so not like uh, sugar, and then they eventually will burn off. Now, carbolin is interesting because it's a complex carbohydrate, but it's absorbed as quickly as a sugar. So sugar carbolin within five minutes has uh, spiked those glucose levels. The difference is, is sugar is going to rapidly decline and then cut off. Again, you get that, that sugar low, that tiredness, lethargicness. An athlete should never use sugar drinks. Um, so stay away from you know, Gatorades and monster drinks that have sugar in it. You know, if you want a caffeine product, find a nice pre-workout uh, or something that's sugar-free. And if you need electrolytes, don't use sugar water. Again, no good for you, counterproductive as an athlete. Now the difference with carbolin internally is yes, we spike um, very quickly like sugar and we elevate those, uh, those glycogen levels, but we are going to burn off very slowly. So if you just were to take 50 grams of carbolin, get on a treadmill, our studies show that within about 75 minutes, that's gonna be gone. You don't feel tired, um, you feel well. Now the cool thing is, being that it, it's absorbed so quickly, carbolin can be used as an intra-workout at halftime on the sidelines for a game because again, it will continually replenish those glycogen levels, giving your muscles the fuel that it needs to burn. So that's kind of what's going on. If you want more information, you want to read about the studies, you can go to uh, our website and it'll tell you all about carbolin. And if you want a sample, send me an email with your address and I'd love to give you a sample of carbolin to try. Anyway, take care and we'll catch you next time.